In this video, we're going to go over how to create your business development plan. We're going to go through four steps and I'm going to walk you through each one individually here. And we're going to walk through exactly how you can differentiate yourself, how to define your target audience, how to determine your unique mechanism, what really kind of sets you apart in the marketplace. And then we're going to go into how you're going to be able to choose your best business development strategy moving forward. So let's go right ahead and jump into this here. You want to define your target audience. You want to make sure that you know exactly who your ideal customers are, exactly who those decision makers are within the organization. And if you're going after, you know, a broad market, you want to try to get that as specific as possible because you can go after vertical markets, horizontal markets. It's important to understand, you know, who your actual ideal customer avatar is as well because that's really going to help you craft a lot of your marketing material a lot of your sales material and really help you with the business development strategy as far as building those key relationships with the right individuals at the very top as well and we're going to go over how to build your customer avatar i have an exercise that you can use to really define who exactly is your ideal customer and your actual target audience now number two you want to determine your competitive advantage. What makes you different in the marketplace? What do you do or can you offer that will set you apart from your competitors, right? A lot of times what really makes businesses different and unique is being able to go and look at the top players in the marketplace, right? And looking at what exactly they do, what really kind of sets them apart, and then being able to emulate your product or service uh, a little bit towards what they're currently doing, but then changing it and modifying it and adding some of your own unique twist to whatever it is that you're providing, right? Because you don't want to reinvent the wheel unless you have like some sort of app or some kind of SaaS product that is unique, that is, you know, that nobody else has in the marketplace and you're trying to get traction, that's going to be a little bit different. But for the most part, for most businesses that, are in the marketplace, right? They have a competitor out there. They have somebody who is at the very top or who is doing pretty well where they can go and find out what they're doing, right? As far as their product, their service, their deliverables and being able to emulate that to an extent, but then adding your own twist and unique competitive advantage. So number three, determine your unique mechanism. Now, the difference here between the unique competitive advantage and the unique mechanism is with the unique mechanism, your product or service has a unique formula, unique characteristic ingredient, and you leverage it in your communication with your prospects. So you come up with the secret sauce or something unique about your product and you give it a name, right? Your five step formula for accomplishing X, right? Or your three step process for you know, accomplishing why, whatever that may be. So a really good example is like a massage therapist. Okay. This is a very simple example here. A massage therapist that has studied different forms of massaging techniques, different therapies, and they've combined all these different therapy techniques into their own. And they've called it, you know, the new XYZ therapy uh, methodology, right? That they invented but it's a unique mechanism. That's what really sets them apart. And we're gonna go through how to determine your unique mechanism in one of the other lectures in this course as well, so that you can really differentiate yourself, not only with your competitive advantage, but also with your unique mechanism. So number four here, choose your business development strategy. So we went through some of the top business development strategies in the previous lecture. In this course, our business development strategies that we're going to be focusing on are cold email, cold calling, and direct mail. Now, this is really centralized around the cold email. Uh, very, very in-depth uh, section on cold email alone. And we have the other sections going over cold calling and direct mail. But the main core uh, business development strategy that this core is really focused on is cold email on being able to secure meetings with your ideal prospects and being able to convert those into actual paying customers. So that's going to be it here for this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.